Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome everybody, welcome back to all my followers. Welcome to anybody that's new. This is a timeless collective love reading for any sign. If you felt drawn to this message, this reading is gonna be for you. If you're not interested in knowing what your past is doing for no contact, this reading will not be for you. Check out the collective love messages on my channel. Um, but for those of you that would love to know, what is my person thinking and feeling? This is a time for you to manifest. It's a time for you to um, think about what's going on in this connection. It's guidance for you. Let's see what spirit has for you while you're waiting for your person. What is this person's intentions are? How, what is moving forward in this connection? Spirit, this is a fully channeled message. Spirit, if you could please share with me any messages of guidance. I'm listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have pay attention to the signs. Look for the signs. She's got this little lantern, okay? And I also like the number 10 for some reason. I don't know if it's 10 hours, 10 days, you know, something like that. But pay attention to the signs. And I, I'm also going to say the signs within you. Like, what is your intuition telling you? What is your heart telling you? Okay, so look for the signs that are around you, that this little lantern of light, like there's a almost like a beacon of light calling you. And I have patience, patience, patiently waiting, the number 23. And I have feeling at home, number 35. So feeling at home, oh boy. So that's coming into me. She's reading a letter. She's reading a text. She's almost this feeling of I'm thinking of you. Um, I'm thinking of you right now. I'm thinking of the life that we created together. I'm thinking of uh, the time that we've had together. So that is all gorgeous. I think the energy on the table is absolutely beautiful today. Um, it feels like I want to be at home with you. Um, I, I just, um, that's what I'm thinking of. You know, they're either missing home, missing being with you, or they feel at home with you. Um, before we continue, please consider hitting that like and commenting below during any of my readings. As I try to grow my channel, I would love to um, create more content for all of you. So one way you can help me is just to hit that like button real fast and let's see what spirit has for you. I feel at home. I feel at home with you. And I like this feeling of like I'm reading letters. It could be I'm reading past text messages. I'm um, I'm thinking about things. I'm looking at my phone. Um, it could be anything along those lines. Let's let's get the cards An ace of swords. Gorgeous. Uh, Seven of cups. I have the monarch, which is my um, which is my emperor in this deck. And I have the witch, which is my magician. Okay. So this feeling of, I, I want to, first of all, this is a very strong individual, very strong personality is coming into me. All right. That they almost are weighing all their options, you know, like, because maybe this connection affects other areas of their life. It, it could affect their career, it could affect moving, it could affect um, family or children. So it's almost as if I'm weighing all my options. It's like, in order to be in this connection, in order for this connection to succeed, it's got to work in a lot of different areas, not just how we feel about each other. So there could be some other things going on in this connection behind the scenes. But this is coming into me as I'm coming up with some some answers. I'm coming up with some um, some realizations, I guess, of how to make it work. And I feel like I want to share that with you. I do. I really feel like, um, you know, how do I make this work? And I think this person's given a lot of thought to what would we need to do, whether it's obstacles that we have to overcome, we have to um, just plan something, think about something. One of us has to give in a little bit, like something has to change. But I do feel like it's coming in a lot clearer to them that in order to have what they you both really want, this change has to happen. You know, whether it's a move or it's a time is, is an issue ongoing, money is an issue ongoing, something has to change. I have a um, 
that is my, I'm sorry, that is my hanged man. That's my meditation, my hanged man. Seven of wands. I, I don't want to give up on this. And then I have the world. Okay, so that is beautiful. I, I really feel like this person's giving a lot of thought to what would I need to do and say to make this work? OK, it's almost as if you're waiting for the right words or um, you're waiting for. I just want to stop for a minute because these cards are so beautiful. <laughs> I just want to thank you, Spirit, for my, my deck collection, because I just it just kind of caught me off guard at like how beautiful the display and the cards are. Um, and I'm so grateful for that because I do put a lot of time into my deck collection. So. All right. Sorry for the side note, but. Um, I just love my decks, but it just it just kind of caught me off guard at how beautiful these cards are and how grateful I am to receive messages through these cards. So let's continue. A uh, little side note there. Um, this feeling of I want to make this work. I want to make this work. I, I feel that I've given this some time and some effort. And I also want to go back to that patience card. Thank you for being patient with me. Maybe you've given this person time and space. Maybe you have given this person um, the opportunity to figure some things out, to try to think clearly, to try to figure out what it is that they want. Like you don't want to be with anybody that you say, well, I want this. You want somebody who decides that they want you both want it right? You can't make somebody be in a relationship with you. So it's a feeling of this person is, is thanking you. I, I feel like, like, thank you for being there. Okay. Um, thank you for caring, you know, thank you for um, giving me time. If, if that's what you gave them, maybe you love this person so much that you said, if you need some time, I understand you do what you have to do because I love you. And if you want to be with me, I will be here for you. So some people do let their person go um, to go figure some things out. And then that person comes back is how I'm feeling today. You know, warrior of cups. Look at this energy of like, I still have these incredible feelings for you. Ten of pentacles and a spirit of cups. So right now it's this beautiful energy of I, i'm realizing that we could have it all um i i have a feeling you're gonna get back together with this person uh this person is making making up their mind that you know we can make this work maybe they put me yeah, bottom of the deck i have a four of wands we can make this work ace of wands like you're the one that i want if this person comes back to you, it will be on a committed level. I can tell you that they're going to come back and say, I want more. OK, I want more. I want a commitment. I want you to know that I love you and I don't want to be with anybody else or I don't want to be um, I don't want to be separated from you anymore. So sometimes that space helps somebody to. I guess come to the conclusion that they that you really are good for them. You will hear from me soon. I do feel that. I, I absolutely feel that. I feel like this person is ready. This ready. This person's ready to come home. I'm going to say it that way. Whether you live together or just home in your heart, you will hear from me soon. I, I have no doubt in my mind. They're they're ready to come home, and. Um, I think that's important. I, I think that's important for you to know uh, because you may be praying for this. You may be wishing for this. Uh, for, for many of you, this is something that, that you want. And for many of you, you, you are going to hear from your person. So we're going to put that out into the universe. If you want to hear from your person, comment below. Yes, I want you to come home. I want you to come home to me. Something like that. When will you come to me? When will you come to me? All right. So Spirit's saying soon, like sooner than you know. You may hear from this person right away, even just after this reading, you know, like within days or weeks. And maybe this reading is kind of a catalyst for you. You are the only one for me. They're realizing they want to come home. Absolutely. I feel so secure with you. You know, I'm happiest when I'm with you. I'm happiest when we're together. You're all I think about. How beautiful. Um, I know I can satisfy you. 
So they've had to make up their mind that this is what they want. And I'm, I'm going to give you credit for letting them go. Okay. Like if you said, go do what you have to do. I still love you. I understand. And it wasn't a hurtful breakup. It wasn't a, I hate you breakup. It was, I need time to think breakup um, or space to think. Then this person respects that and respects you for allowing them to, to have that time so that that I think paid off for you. Now, when will I come? When will you come to me? Now, now is the time. I have a feeling you're going to hear from this person. Um, I'm going to say I'm scared to be vulnerable with you. I'm going to say I was scared to be vulnerable with you because if they come back, I feel like that's a sense of, of them um, showing their vulnerability right there. Like I'm coming back. I'm, I'm coming back with a let's try again. Let's make this work. I've learned from my mistakes. Um, we're both smarter. We're better people, whatever it is. But I mean, that's a sense of vulnerability right there. How beautiful. Spirit, what do you have for us? I have a boiling point. I, I hit my boiling point. Maybe somebody just lost it and said, I need space, you know, and they would kind of regret the pushing away or they, they overreacted in a situation, something like that. Um, accused of being cheating, you know, like I wasn't cheating. I wasn't cheating. If there was thoughts of somebody cheating and they really weren't, um, there's nothing more painful than that, being accused of something they didn't do. So if you have the evidence, that's a different story. But if you just had this feeling um, and that you implied that somebody was, you know, not being truthful to you, then that's that was very hurtful. So maybe that's that's something that you're struggling with. Once they're cake and eat it too, maybe that's something that you thought that they wanted. You can't have both. You can't be in a relationship with me and be single at the same time. So if they've decided that they want to be in a relationship, in a committed relationship, that is the reason that they want to come. They're ready. What did Spirit just say? They're, they're ready to come home to you. I mean, that's so beautiful. And then sweet messages. They're starting to send you messages. They're going to start to reach out to you. They're going to start to you know, connect and say, can we talk? Can we get together? I want to see you. Um, so I, I'm very, very hopeful right now. I am. I'm very hopeful. Spirit, what else do you have for us? What do you want us to know? I have a seven of wands. I don't want to give up. They, they don't want to throw in the towel. They're ready to make a change with that 10 of swords. Gorgeous. Three of cups. I've got a celebration, a reconciliation coming. And I've got an eight of pentacles. We're going to work. We're going to work at this. It's not going to be easy because of whatever we just went through. But I feel like it's going to be worth it. I feel like this is one of those connections that I don't want to give up on you. And I don't want you to give up on me. And there's just too much love here, Spirit's saying. There's too much love. Six of cups. Lots of thinking about you. Like everything is reminding them of you right now. Um, I, I feel like it's even exaggerated right now because of the holiday season. I feel like ev my whole hands are tingling. I, I feel like everything is reminding them of you. So maybe they want to be home for the holidays. I I'm going to say it that way. You know, am I coming home for the holidays? I'm ready to make a change. I'm letting something go, right? Page of swords. I want to talk. What else, spirit? Three of swords. I know I hurt you. So there's no denying the pushing away that there's no denying the feelings, but it, it is a feeling of, of kind of looking at things from a fresh perspective or a new perspective, something like that. King of pentacles. I want to be stronger and give you more security. And this is coming into me as a commitment, the higher fan, whether it's wedding vows, whether it's a, um, you know, just my belief is that I, I think we're meant to be together. It could be as simple as that. Spirit, what other messages do you have for us? Let's say you're a reflection of me. I, I just feel like you're a part of me. I'm going to say it that way. I feel like you're a part of me. I'm secretly in love with you. I think it's more than a secret. I feel maybe they've been holding back their feelings. Maybe some of these love messages that are going to start to come in, they're going to start to slowly express themselves and say, I miss you. I want you. Um, you know, I, I want to see you again. I, I need to be with you. And I want to be in your life. That is how I feel. 
I really do. I, I boy, today's a day to celebrate. I hate hate that you're with someone else. Maybe you're, you've been dating somebody else. Some of you have been dating somebody else. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe there's a little envy there. Maybe you're dating somebody, but they don't have they don't mean as much to you as this person does. You don't have the history together, so that could be bothering them. I'm afraid that you don't love me like anymore. Like, have you changed your feelings or do you still want this? I want to touch you. I want to hold you. I want to kiss you. I want to come home. I need to make it right. I need to make it right. And I want you in my life. I, I have a feeling that this person is, this person is, I mean, it's not even on the fence that they are wholeheartedly um, ready to reconnect. Okay. It's like, it's not even like they're thinking about it. It's somebody who really is going to reach out to you says I need and want you in my life. And I want to figure out a way to make this work. So I need to make it right. So whatever that is to you, we're, we're going to put this out into the universe because I, I have a feeling your person's going to be home for the holidays. I do. I feel like this person really wants to be with you. And I think it's going to start moving very quickly. So we're going to put this out into the universe. I hope you hear from your person very, very soon. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's let's ask the universe to bring this mess, these messages to them to expedite this reunion, this, this reconciliation. I want to thank spirit for this, this reading today. I want to, I want to thank spirit and I want to thank you all for your likes and your comments and your love. And if anyone would like to book a private reading with me, you can go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.